Hello guys, welcome back. This is part 2 on how to make a video box pin using Sony Vegas and Sony Acid. So on your screen is Sony Acid Pro 6. So what you can see is a box pin that you already made using Sony Acid. If you went to watch part 1, make sure you watch part 1 on the link above. But if you know how to make a box pin already on Sony Acid, the only thing you want to learn is Sony Vegas. You can just proceed through the tutorial. So let's, let's listen on the box pin you already made. So that's the box pin I made using Sony Acid. So what I'm going to do is render it in MP3 format and then take the audio and edit it on Sony Vegas. Sony Acid is usually for audio and uh, Sony Vegas is for MP4. So the difference Sony Acid for MP3, Sony Vegas for MP4. Hope you, you will notice the difference. So if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Give this, a, give this video a like and also leave a comment below for any question, any addition thing you want us to to share or you want, you want us to add on our videos. Kindly leave it on the comment section. So let's continue. So on how to render it, you can just place a loop. I'll see up here there's a grayish line. Let's click on it. Select loop playback. Then you are going to select which part you want to render. So let's listen to the song and decide which part you are going to render. I'm just going to render this part. So how to render? Go to file. After making the loop, you go to file, render, select your destination when it's music. Then you come to the format, the mp3, then you rename your file. Mine is backspin, then you select the template, mine is highest quality. Then down here, render, render options, make sure you check the box with render loop region only. Then you save it. And like that, your audio is rendered. Come back to Sony Vegas this is the Sony Vegas you are going to use so locate your file the file is uh, at the music turn on music box P1 this one drag and drop it there so let's listen to it <laughs> So that the box pin you are going to add a video on it. So come to your search software. I'm using everything. It's a free software which you can download on Google. So the song is a raster. Drag it. Now that the one that has a video. So just click yes. So you want to look the part of this video that has the same audio as this one the first part so on your on your song just locate that that part anyway, this is the part you want zoom in how oh, i'm zooming in I'm using an external mouse. I'm using the wheel that is in between the two buttons. Also, you can zoom in using these uh, buttons on your screen, this one and this one. But to make it easy, you can use the external mouse. Also, you can use the keys, the keyboard using the letter of up and down, the up and down letters. Not the letters, I mean the keys. The one that usually play games with you can use you, you can use them to zoom in and zoom out. So let's split at split at, split at this level. Press letter S. Cut or delete the unwanted part. So listen again to it. Yeah. 
have the part you want, delete the other part, and delete it. So drag this one up to the starting point. Then you zoom in to listen if it's the correct part. Is a correct part, so just split at that level. So we want to, to make a good coupon so that it can blend in well with the other part. So zoom in the starting point. As you can see, they are not well synchronized. So so zoom in again to make sure they are well aligned. So how to check if they are well aligned, you can see this is the, the starting point of the kick or the base, but at this point it starts at this level. So you just place your cursor there and drag it and make sure they are matching. So listen if they are well blended. <laughs> I think they are all blended, so what you do, come to the starting point, make sure you are, you have dragged this on up to the, the starting point. So after that, so after you have made sure that they are synchronized, now you can delete the, the video, I mean the audio on the video, so how to do it, as you can see you drag it, they are moving together, you want to separate them. So press letter U on the keyboard and you can see now the, the, the audio moves separately so you can delete it. So you remain there, the backspin audio and the original video. They are going to add a backspin edit or effect on this one. So make sure I zoom in and make sure it ends at the point that the the audio that we rendered on Sony Acid ends. Now you need to, to listen to it and decide. Or notice where the, you're going to put your markers. Well, at this point, so here a, a box spin starts. You can hear this, uh, like, a, like a silence. Then the audio comes back like how we do on a Control or CDJ or you, you play along with the volume faders. So as you notice there's a gap in between them. So you just mark you just mark it there. Then you select the erase tool. Or you can just split, just select the video, split it, then and then split again and delete the middle part. Again come to the to the next part as you can see on your video you can notice the point that doesn't have the the bit of the vocal so delete it come again to this part because you can see delete from the video like that What I'm using to split is letter S on the keyboard and del deleting them is Ctrl X or you can use the if you can just right click and delete but that's a bit slow so just use the shortcut Ctrl X to del to cut Ctrl V to paste Ctrl C to copy split using letter S you split on the both sides then you cut it so let's see how it looks. So the backspin, as you can notice, it has different parts of the backspin depending on the size of the, the part of the sound that you that is splitted. Like for, inter, for instance, you can see this part is a bit long, so it sounds different. So 
So see at the end is a bit sharp, so you can just mark it there. Also here it's a bit different, just mark it again. So you're going to split there, using letter S on the video. Also there. So these different parts, you're going to add different video effects. So on the first part, you're going to add something called TV Simulator. So to get there, you can just come to your video effects, search TV, and you see the TV Simulator. Click on it, just put TV look on the first part. Let's see how it looks like. On the next part, you can put the bird sync. This one. Let's see how it looks like. So the last part, you need to put a uh, a TV sim TV look like that. Then you add another effect called Swear. Just search it. This one. You can put the the second one. I'll just check how it looks like. You can choose to stick it, to stick with that, or you can just do some more edits. If if you find the suit is a lot, just come and click on this icon. The event effects, click on it and you reduce the horizontal to be a bit small. Let's see how it looks like. That's how that's basically how you do it. But there are many ways to do it. You can tell us how you do your you you do yours on the comment section. So that's how I do it myself. So guys, in case of any question, just leave it in the comment section. And also for any additional thing we can do to make our backspin look better, just just comment below. So if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. If you are already a subscriber, make sure you like the video. And see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.